Hey guys, welcome back, it's Sarah. Welcome to my beauty room. This is where I work, do my makeup, my skincare, and cry. Anyway, I realized that I haven't done a sit down skincare routine in a long time. A lot of things in my routine has changed, but it's still very high maintenance. And my skincare needs definitely changed over time. I'm past 25 now, so I am trying to preserve my sexy. So I wanna just show you all the new things that I included in my routine. So for makeup removal, one thing I've been using a lot of is this Heroin Make Speedy Mascara Remover. The way that I've traditionally removed eye makeup has always been with my cellar water. I really believe in chemically breaking down makeup before removing it manually so you reduce friction and rubbing. So what I've always done is use my cellar water, put it over my eye, and then wait for everything to just come off. But this is the next level. This is a mascara wand, but it has a solution in it that removes waterproof mascara. So instead of rubbing it into your lashes, which inevitably you're gonna end up rubbing your eyelid, you can coat this on like this. It works on all mascaras, even waterproof and tubing ones. And I'm just applying it the same way you would apply your mascara when you're doing your makeup. One question that I get a lot of is about the Pimel Essence Mascara Base because I put a lot of y'all on this. This helps keep your lashes up all day. But one thing about this mascara base is it's pretty hard to remove and this does a very good job. So just a little tip. Anyway, now that my lashes are coated, I'm gonna use the Breakup Balm. And this is very inspired by all the oil cleansers that I've tried throughout the years. It's not technically an oil. It has more of a balmy consistency. So this is the consistency. This is what it looks like, kind of looks like snot actually. <laughs> but we designed this specifically so that when you mix it in with water, it turns into kind of an oil and into a milk and then to water. So it slowly emulsifies to break down that oil. But the first step is going to be using that oil in the balm to break down your makeup because oil is very efficient at breaking down makeup. So I'm just going to apply this directly onto my skin. This is also very inspired by a lot of Korean cleansing balms that you see on the market, but a lot of them are not fragrance free and it usually comes in a jar which isn't super hygienic which is why we have an opaque squeeze tube so yeah i haven't really been using anything else for makeup removal my goal partially with creating this is something that can remove my makeup even when i'm coming home completely wasted which i'm actually going to focus a little bit on my nose and my t-zone and do a little bit of a massage. I've been watching a lot of LA Beautyologists on YouTube and her videos about oil cleansing really taught me how to get rid of blackheads and I have a lot of blackheads on my chin and my nose. So I'm using oil to pull that out of my skin. I know it works for some people and it doesn't for others, but it's been working very well for me. Okay, once that's done, I'm going to rinse this with water. Oh, another thing I've been using so much of are these cuffs by LA Beautyologist. I'll link them in the description, but it's been helping me so much because I'm a very messy person. They're basically skincare cuffs that you put on before you do your skincare routine. So when I'm washing my face, usually the entire counter, mirror, everything is a whole mess and I've just lived with it. But using this means that the water is not going to go past the cuffs. So you don't have water everywhere on your arms, on the sink. So I'm just going to rinse all of this quickly. You see how quickly that already emulsified? Now my skin is nice and clean. This is usually when I would do my gua sha. So I'm using my slick skin and I'm just gonna apply this directly on clean skin. I'm also gonna apply some of this on my neck and shoulders. You can't ever actually use too much of this because you just wanna make sure there's enough slip. You can also actually add a little bit to your gua sha to increase the slip even more. I've tried so many ways of using the gua sha and recently I discovered, I hope I don't butcher this, Masako Mizutani. She's a Japanese beauty guru. She's written books about how to age gracefully. People know her as the age freeze queen because she doesn't look a day over 30. And she's been doing facial massages like the gua sha since she was 25. So I've just been following her method recently and I really love it. <music> Thank 
that is it it's a very simple routine it's not about doing a very long complicated routine but about doing it consistently i'm a little bit red which is normal with any type of facial massages because you're bringing blood flow to the surface of the skin which is why we made this with stainless steel so the cooling of the stainless steel can counteract the heat that's brought on from facial massage and as you can see my skin the serum is still on my face it sits on top of your skin long enough that you don't just lose that slip halfway through a facial massage and i'm actually going to wipe all this off next is something that i've been experimenting with this is an ems machine ems stands for electronic muscle stimulation it's basically a device that stimulates your muscle kind of like microcurrent devices except it goes deeper into the muscle layer so microcurrent devices would include things like new face which i really love i still use microcurrent sometimes but i want to try something that's a cheaper and two goes deeper into the skin into the muscle and you just attach these little thingies to these sticky pads and apply this where you want the muscle stimulation so for me it would be right here so the reason why i've been doing this is because i've tried ems therapy in my butt this is something you can only do at a med spa it's called m sculpt and basically with repeated electronic muscle stimulation it increases your muscle mass so m sculpt is specifically for your butt and your abs whereas these smaller devices that you can use at home usually are a lot weaker because it's for smaller muscle groups so the idea is to increase facial muscle mass with electronic muscle stimulation and i'm not trying to change my face drastically but facial muscle loss is one of the first signs of aging and i really want to preserve my cheek muscle because once this starts to lose volume it'll cause things like nasolabial folds and i want to go as long as i possibly can without cheek filler so you gotta do what you gotta do <laughs> one word of warning though is to always use a very low frequency apply this away from the eye if you feel this in your eye area you're doing it wrong the things we do to be pretty so i'm gonna do the strength training setting which is specifically for muscle stimulation I usually keep this on for five minutes. This is probably the most dramatic thing I do in my skincare routine, but I don't, I don't care. After I do it, when I smile, I feel a little bit of soreness, which means that that muscle has been working and it also trains my face to just use these muscles a little bit more in my daily life. I know that was very extra, but I'm trying to be that rich Asian auntie that always has perfect skin. Now that we're done with the gua sha and the EMS, which are a little bit more invasive, I like to cool everything down with a sheet mask. I talked about this in my Asian skincare favorites video, and it's still one of my favorite masks because it's fragrance-free and it has a lot of calming ingredients. It fits really well because the top and bottom are separated because I have a giant face so usually sheet masks don't fit my face very well but this one fits pretty well and this is when I like to use my stainless steel roller and to cool down my face even more You know how Bella Hadid likes to put her face in a bowl of ice water? This is basically the same concept except it's way more gentle on your skin barrier It helps reduce redness, puffiness, calms your skin I'm just gonna peel this off and I'm just gonna pat all this in after all that's been absorbed I like to put on some retinol one of my all-time favorite retinols is the Paul's Choice Super Antioxidant Concentrate Serum so it has antioxidants and retinol which is perfect and just like slick skin this also has a silicone base which I love it's so silky and I like to apply this around the eyes as an eye cream and it helps with my dark circles because my dark circles get really bad but if you've never used a retinol before or never used this product before definitely give some time for your skin to adjust to it I've been using this retinol for five years so uh, my skin can tolerate it but yeah typically as a treatment one night I'll use an acid and one night I'll use a retinol I just like to alternate I don't really like to use both at the same time because I have pretty sensitive skin and I don't want to do too much to my skin but I definitely still use acids I usually use beta hydroxy acids around my nose and my chin just as a treatment because that's where I usually get blackheads last but not least I'm gonna seal all of this in with the occlusive it's our new moisturizer and it's formulated specifically to be occlusive which is why it's called be occlusive which means it can prevent trans epidermal water loss it's also fragrance free you can apply this all the way down to your neck 
Oh, one more thing before I head to bed. I like to use the Vaseline all over body balm. It's called body balm, but you can use it on your face. It's basically Vaseline in a stick form. So I just use this on my lid and on my eyelid and underneath my eyes as well. Or if you have any dry patches on your face, this is such a good way to top everything off. Apply your normal moisturizer and then a little bit of this and it'll kind of seal that area. Kind of like slugging, but you can do it just in patches because not everybody wants to put a full face of Vaseline on every single night. And that is it. That is my very high maintenance get I'm ready with me and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.